Welcome to the first video in my journey to the most southern point in Thailand. And today we're going to explore the province of Ratchaburi. We're going to visit a stunning stone park, a gorgeous mountain Buddha, before finishing off with maybe the most spectacular natural sight I've ever seen. I'm Joe Perilla. Join me as I travel from Bangkok to this place, the most southern point in Thailand. So if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below and follow me on this journey as we discover the south of Thailand. Good morning, guys. I'm in the Khao Ngu Stone Park or the Snake Mountain Stone Park. And I guess it's called Snake Mountain. Maybe there's snakes in the area or maybe the pattern on the limestone mountains looks like a snake skin. Let's hope it's the latter one. It's been an early start. It's about seven o'clock. And I've just been flying the drone and in this soft morning light, these limestone mountains are absolutely gorgeous. It's about 10 minutes outside of the center of Ratchaburi and well, I think the images speak for themselves. From here, it looks amazing, but check these drone shots out. Right guys, I said it's a stone park and you can actually get in and have a look. But there are packs and packs of street dogs. You can see them here. For some reason, dogs just, and well, maybe it's my fear, but dogs just aren't a fan of me. So every time I stop, they, they come over and try and uh, have a good bark. But there is a park part of this place. So let's drive around and see if we can find it. If we come through our limestone gate, I think this might be the reservoir. Let's have a look. It's not in the best of states. Oh yeah. That's not bad, is it? Not bad for a morning view. Wow, very pretty. More street dogs down there though. It doesn't even look open, to be honest. Anyway, let's go down and have a look. And if it is open, I'll see you guys down there. But look at the view we have here. If dogs weren't enough, we've got a whole troop, let's say, of monkeys. I've never seen monkeys like this. I know you have to be a bit careful. Don't look in their eyes. Be careful of your stuff, but... <laughs> Just chilling on the road. Loads of chickens as well. What is, it? is this place? It's like a zoo. It doesn't really look open. In fact, it looks very shut. Now there are people there. Let's park up and let's just have a look. It's open. Yep. Okay, we survived the monkeys and the dogs and made it to a little car park. The, well, very small car park. It's free entry. You can pay 20 baht if you want to feed the fish, but I don't think we'll do that right now. And yeah, you get entrance or free entrance into this beautiful park. And of course it's beautiful from the drone. It's beautiful when you're riding around it because you see the different sides of these mountains. But the perspective from here, you get a panoramic view of these limestone mountains. It is very beautiful, I must say. There's a little reservoir here and like a mini suspension bridge over that reservoir. So I'll just show you a little look around and then we'll move on to the next place. The view is pretty special and yes, they're not the best limestone cliffs you will see in Thailand, I am sure you will tell me that. But what makes these pretty cool is that the area around it is so flat. And actually when you're riding into Ratchaburi, the town, 
you can see these in the distance. You see them long before you get to the town because they do stick up out of this flat landscape. And there are a few more mountains in the very distance uh, further out into the province. But really, this main area around the town is flat and these are the defining feature on the horizon. But when you get up close, they do have that like snakeskin pattern and yeah, the almost white gray limestone cliffs pushing out of the ground. But then you have the contrast with the green trees, which I think is the coolest part. You have the trees and the vegetation growing up the mountains. And for me, that's what makes them look pretty special. And that looks safe, doesn't it? Definitely not gonna end up in the water. <laughs> oh no, it's all right. It's all right, it's sturdy. Actually, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but the reflection in the water is very beautiful. It's just a picturesque, pretty little place. Just to, I think, start your day because in this morning sun, actually, it does look really, really very beautiful with the soft sunlight bouncing off the limestone cliffs. I wouldn't drive all the way to Ratchaburi to come and see this, but if you're here, <laughs> I think it's definitely worth coming to see. I think you guys should walk along the bridge and come along this little path. Once you get past that initial entrance area, actually now it starts to feel more like a nature area and it is very peaceful. Well, now you can hear motorbikes. I always say these things at the wrong time because we are actually, as I say, it's only 10 minutes outside. It's still built up around here, which is a bit strange, but you can hear the birds. Anyway, you can hear the birds. <laughs> you've got reeds and rushes in the, in the water and then you have the wildlife in the water too and it does feel a bit more as I say like you're in nature and not just in a little man-made attraction with the pedal boats the restaurant and the entrance got to admit it is quite beautiful isn't it sometimes when I'm filming I've said this before you just get caught up in making the video but I always try and stop and reflect and just put the camera down a little lot. I mean, now obviously I've picked it back up. But when you stop, I'm stood on the bridge and just looking out, you can hear the water and the birds. It is pretty nice. What do you guys think of the new bike, by the way? Gone is that blue thing that I had the accent on. And in, same model, although it's a year older, in is the Honda Click in Aston Martin Racing Green. What do you reckon? Personally, I much prefer this color. Looks pretty cool, very happy. I have come to Wat Nong Hoi Park, and on top of this hill is a very large Buddha, another large Buddha on top of a hill. And for me, that might be the most beautiful type of Buddha when it's perched on top of a hill like this. But this one is slightly different to the others we've seen. Normally, they're just painted white, but this one has been intricately decorated with small round tiles. And it has color, it has patterns, and I say again, it is just incredibly beautiful. But it's not just the Buddha which is very beautiful here, it's the view, and oh my God, I said Ratchaburi was a flat province with the limestone hills poking up out of that flat province. Here you get a real perspective for that and just looking over the plain on towards those limestone mountains. Wow, what a view, especially in this hazy morning light. There's a slight haze in the air. There's a little bit of cloud, but the sun is just pushing through and the ambience here, you've got the music from the temple playing in the background. I'm on my own, but what I would say, if you're scared of dogs, or street dogs, let's say, might be a bit of an issue coming up here for you. Like it was for me, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you can hear them now maybe, but on the way up they were chasing the bike. I mean, come on, chasing the bike. And then when I got here, there was a large pack of them. So I had to literally jump off the bike and run up the steps as they were trying to get towards me. Not the most pleasurable experience, I must admit but they can probably also sense my fear. Anyway, very, very nice stop, very beautiful place. And as I say, the Buddha itself is pretty unique and it's worth coming to see. Actually up here you have 360 degree views. Every time I come to a place like this, it just kicks me of how beautiful Thailand can be. Incidentally, around the bottom of the Buddha statue, you have animals, you have a horse, goat, monkey, 
and you have a ravaged dog barking at someone, so yeah, at least it's fitting for the surroundings. I was just on the way, riding to the next stop, through a beautiful countryside actually, and I saw this on the side of the road, and I haven't seen this before. I knew it happened, but I hadn't seen it, so I thought I'd stop and show you. This is rice. And you can see there's a greenness to it still and they're drying it on the side of the road. Well, not on the side of the road, but they have this concrete space here. And uh, in the hot sun, it won't take very long for this to dry. And he's got his tool where he can spread them out, spread them out flat and keep them moving around. Pretty cool, right? And you might be asking, why is it not white? Well, it still has the husk on, you see. So when we get our nice white rice, it's polished off. This is the whole grain. Anyway, just a quick little stop. Right guys, final stop of the day. And I hope I've saved the best until last. I've come to what is called on Google Maps, the Bat Cave. And I mean, the tires don't really make much of a scene of it, right? <laughs> but it's called a Bat Cave because up on the hill above where I am stood, is a cave which is home to one million bats. And every night, as the sun sets, those bats come out to feed. So apparently you have a stream, a spectacle of bats flooding out of the cave. So that's what we've come to watch. Fingers crossed, because you know what it's like with these things and me. It'll probably be the one day, the entire year, that the bats decide to like sleep it off and we won't see it. But the weather is perfect. The scene is perfect. Lots of people are starting to come out actually to come and watch it. And all we have to do is wait for it to begin, which should be any time now. There is actually a street food market just over here. looks quite good, actually. So if you did come early and you wanted to grab some food, you can do that too. It should start just from around here. The sun is starting to go down, so it can't be that long until it starts. Well, it's about half an hour until the sun sets. And still no bats still waiting patiently. I'll let you know because I presume, well, I don't presume, the sunset changes, of course, throughout the year. I'll let you know how long before sunset they start and then you can kind of base it on that. But I wonder what makes the first bat decide to go. Do you think he just gets bored or hungry and then decides to leave the cave and everyone else is like, oh, well, if he's going, I'm going. But hopefully they do it soon. I'm starting to get a bit nervous that this will be the one day that they don't do it for us. But what I would say is that Ratchaburi as a province wasn't really in my thinking before I was planning this trip, of course. I've been to Bangkok many times and I didn't really think of coming to Ratchaburi. But it is only two hours away from Bangkok. And I've spent the day exploring the province, more than what I've shown on this video, of course. And it's just been such a pleasure. It's such a nice province. It's not the best province I've been to, but it's definitely not one to be ignoring or looking over and it is very close to Kanchanaburi and I'm sure you can do a loop round, visit Kanchanaburi, drop down into Ratchaburi, back to Bangkok and I definitely recommend it. It's just been, it's been such a nice day and hopefully you've enjoyed the video and we're about to see the finale, the spectacular show put on by these bats. So I'll check in with you guys once it starts. Oh my god, it started at about five minutes to sunset. Oh man, I was trying to think of words. What would I say when I first saw it? Wow, thousands and thousands of bats. And this will be it for the next 20 minutes, a million bats coming out of that cave. Moving in a weaving pattern. There's actually people further up on the steps, like right beneath the cave. Guys, it's actually one of the most breathtaking sights that I think I've ever seen from nature. The way they move all in a line, that is incredible. You guys have to come and see this. I actually can't put it into words. Just look at it. They come out of the cave, go round the mountain and then off into the fields. And the light's a bit low because as I say, they started at five minutes to sunset. You can hear them chirping. I don't know if the microphone can pick it up. Amazing.
actually don't think words can describe how incredible this site is. It really is one of nature's wonders and it's, it, it's just magical. Look at this, it's been going on for 10 minutes so far and no sign of slowing down and they're just weaving their way down the mountain and over onto the fields. I'm just sat here with my mouth open, a massive smile on my face. I cannot believe I'm here watching this and it's free. It's free. Can you believe it? <laughs> Guys, get yourself to Ratchaburi. Come and watch this. Explore the province. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm going to enjoy this without the cameras. Take care, guys.